To my channel keeping up with Kia P. I am your girl Kia P, aka Kia the Crafter. I am here back with another resin video. Yes, we have a a little bit of a different mode today. We're gonna try something a little different. Yeah, just a little bit, and um, just kind of do kind of like a set per se. Um, so I'm gonna take you down and, and let you see what we're gonna work on today. Okay. But with no more further ado, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. Hit it below. Hit it below. Hit it below. And give me some thumbs up if you like the video. Yes, all the content that I am providing for you guys. And go ahead and hit the notification bell somewhere around up in here. Yeah, hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when we upload new content. We always bring in new modes, new things, new creations. So go ahead and hit that notification bell so that you can get notified when we upload new videos, okay? And with no more further ado, I'm going to take you down so we can work on our project today, okay? Let's take it down. Okay, so what we're going to do today is a set. I have my rolling tray. I already installed my fairy lights in it, right? Just to try to make the video go a little bit faster. Inspiration piece will be... Um, we poured this box mold in another video, so I want to go ahead and add the lid to it. We're going to add a tray, and then we're going to add a lotion, lotion pump. It came in the mail. We got the square. It also came with the round, so you get the square, the round. This is the top that goes on top some kind of way. It sits on top of there. And the resin and the pump goes down up in here. I guess it screws. Yep, it screws down up in there. And that is the top for that. And we're going to make this pump to go with this tray and this little trinket jar. We're going to add the lid to it and just have a nice little bathroom vanity set put together all in one. Okay, so what we did around the top of this, this is our inspiration piece. We want the tray to be similar as well as the um the um pump lotion pump or hand pump sanitizer pump whatever it is so what we did around the top of this was add those gold leaves so i've already poured my resin i have my gold leaves sitting over here in the resin and we're going to go ahead and trim it around our tray but before we do so i'm gonna hit it with this heat gun just to knock some of the bubbles out just so that it'll be a nice, cleaner, crisper pour. And just kind of get some of those bubbles out of the resin. Now, I've already let this sit for that 10 minutes that I always tell you guys to let it sit. I'm going to also pour in one direction, nice and tall. And just try to go around because again I just want it along the edges of the tray so we just want the gold leaves to be around the top edges of the tray so I'm gonna take this all the way around hoping to get the whole lip of this rolling tray with the gold leaf mixture. Okay. We just got, we're going to put just a little bit more just to kind of make sure that it is filled. lip part is filled with the gold leaf. I got new pouring cups. I will put that in my description box from Amazon. You can get um, some nice silicone cups to do your pours with. And right now I am just kind of repositioning my mold and getting everything 
where it's supposed to be because then we're going to come back and fill the bottom okay out of this gold leaf mixture i'm gonna put some in the top and see these these leaves are so heavy that they float right to the bottom so they all should be floating like to the rim of it and i'm just going to put some along here and then i'll fill it in the center with um the other color i'm gonna put in here that cream right now i'm just making sure that everything is kind of like in the middle now far as my pump go i know i want some around the top so we are going to pour some around the top of this mold a little bit in the lip now I got a little bit of my gold leaf left so what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is make this whole top wasting anything and these leaves are so like I said they're pretty heavy so they're they probably gonna float but I'm gonna pour some resin in here to fill it so that hopefully it helps help it stay I'm trying to get all every leaf up out of here and these are not the foil leaves because the foil the foil kind of floats in the resin these are um kind of like a a glitter type leaf like a heavy glitter type metal not really metal but i don't know it's a, it's, it's not light like the foil paper i mean like the foil Where's the bottom? And I'm just going to add a little bit more clear to the top just to give it just a little bit more. I'm going to add a little bit of clear to this. whole top the rest of it to be clear
knocking some of these bubbles out. And it's okay to let your let it sit for a little bit to let the bubbles come up. And then, so I'm gonna have to use the heat gun down in there. Okay, we have um, a little bit of this, like a half, of, a little bit, like a three fourths of a cup left over. So what I want to do is because well. It might, but I doubt it. But I'm gonna go ahead and pour it anyway. So we're going to get our cream that we used. Just making sure it's the right color. I was a little skeptical. color in here. Love this big cup. This cup holds a little over 16 ounces, but um, so you get quite a bit. You can do a big pour with it, and I still got one over here that's like a four cup silicone plus a one cup. So you get a one cup, four cup, and two cup. I think I spent about $24 for it, the kit, the whole set. Now, as you can see, I'm a little bit shy, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spread some of this down here so we can at least start to fill it. So we are back. I added a um a what you call it box, a tissue box to it as well. Because I ended up with extra resin. And so I will show you guys that's the mold right here. Right here. That's the top. 
and then the boxes right here also have the um, lotion holder or sanitizer hand pump to say hand soap dispenser so have that here I'm mixing up my last little bit of resin here so we're gonna get ready to finish out our Lotion dispenser. And we have that. Hope that comes together nicely. Looks like I'm gonna need a little bit more, a little bit more resin. some in this tissue box as well so probably four more ounces or so we need to put in here because we need probably about another ounce in this I need to fill up half of my other one so we'll do four more ounces so we're gonna pour four more ounces hold tight all right so I'm stirring up six more ounces the tray is completed so we are done with that the top to the we can call it is finished so yeah I just want to make sure everything is completed and we'll demold everything and put it all together Up vigorously. I'm just trying to scrape on my sides. cleaning making sure to knock all the bubbles out as it's sitting the bubbles will come up so I'm just kind of going over it with my heat we're going to add only got a little bit of mica powder left of this color so this will be it out of this cream silver well yeah creamish color you're gonna know, definitely have to get some more of these micro powders that's, that's it and we have creamed all the way out and it should give us a complete little set here the cup finish out the bottom of this okay it's nice and finished and then we're gonna go ahead and pour into the um, tissue box here Just putting this so that you guys can see it.
sitting right there. All right, so it's right here. I am trying to fill it halfway. I would say that's pretty much about it right there. I still got just a smidge of resin left. So I'm going to put a little bit in there. Just a smidge of figure out something to do with it real quick. Meanwhile, this is pretty much it. We're going to let everything kind of cure. I'm going to let this harden up, add the clear and the gold flakes to it. And um, yeah, that's going to be the set. That is going to be the set. So hit tight with hang tight. We'll come back and show you what it looks like. Give me a moment. All right, guys, we are back with our set. I'm super excited to see how everything came out. So let's get started. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below, okay? All right, so remember I had already made our box. So this was our inspiration piece from another project. And so, yay, this was the top that I made for it from this pour. Came out cute, so it sits right on top. I think I'm going to make a little, little, just a little thing to kind of um, put on top of it. But that's the little box, so you get the little trinket box. Next, I made a tissue holder because hey what is what is what is a uh, uh, area without having a little tissue right there whether you're using it for makeup or at your desk or whatever you want to use it for what what you know you need to be able to have a little little tissue box you know with it too just something real cute real friend real, real um functional and friendly you know for um, whomever is going to enjoy this set this is the lid to it that comes apart like that and of course I can just take my trusty little knife and take it around there and get all that flash out real quick so that it's not there and it just smooths that right on out. Yep. You can get the corners. And smooth that right on out. Do the bottom part. Same way. And this is part of the breen debreen tool. And that's what it do. It takes off the sharp edges. So I can also go around my sides so that they not sharp. Sure, nobody is not hurting, able to hurt themselves because it'd be sharp from the pour. I'm just taking the corners off 
so that the corners aren't sharp. And this just helps without using a sander so you're not messing up or having to go back and paint the project because you had to do some light sand work. But that's still always an option. So, and I'm just showing y'all how to clean it up and it's just nice and smooth. Edges are still, I probably hit the edges with the sander, but that's the little <clears throat> tissue box. I'll get along the bottom, <clears throat> the bottom edges. Um, so again, no one is cutting themselves. Even when I hold it, I want to be able to hold it freely without um, hurting myself <clears throat> because you know the resin is sharp where you pour it so I just want to make sure <clears throat> and I'll come back and probably hit my corners just to make sure that they're not um, too sharp but that came out real pretty. Tissue box. Okay. Just fill it with the small little tissues. So we got that. Let's go ahead and check out our tray. <coughs> Let's see how that turned out. Gotta do some debris on this as well. I forgot to take my form out the middle. so pretty this is a pretty set like I don't know who is going to get this but this is gorgeous let's check our lights and it light up too and it light up too that is cute that's cute we got a winner guys we got a winner all I have to do is put the wording in here Blew the <clears throat> little thing down so you have the tray, you got the tissue box, trinket box, and then last but not least, our new project. Okay, and we are a little bit sticky right here. And I don't want to tear my mold, so I'm just going to take my time and unstick this off camera. Because, yeah, it's a little stuck right there. And I mean, it's good and stuck. Oh my goodness, so I don't want to tear it. So I'm going to try to get it away from it as easy as possible, so I'll sit tight. Okay, so <clears throat> I took my, I'm going to take my Cricut tool and try to loosen, loosen it up so that it don't tear my mold and I was able to get it a loose without putting a hole in the mold. So that's good. I'm going to have to take a look at that later and see, um, yeah, because it's, it didn't put a hole in it, but yeah, that's going to need to be filled or something. 
because that that's that's part of it right there stuck so I don't, I don't know what happened maybe because it was a deep pour um but yeah I'm gonna have to be real careful on the next next one but it still came out pretty I know what I'm gonna do next time I didn't do that with this and I should have and that is normally when I take them out the oven I go ahead and loosen the mold up right away um, and that tends to have work I did not do that with this I did not do that with this one and I should have but I will make sure and I know people use mold release um, and I might have to try that because I've never tried it. If you guys have used it, let me know um, what, how that works. Um, do it helps with, oh, that is so pretty. Do it help with the project or not? Um, thank you, Tony Bryant. She gave me the idea to, well, I already had the idea of doing sets. But she did um, more of a smoker's set is what she showed me. And so I came up with the idea of doing just kind of like a diva set, um, a vanity set per se. And this is what we have. Y'all, this is so pretty. Okay, so this can be used in two different ways. You can use it like this, fill it with whatever your brushes, makeup brushes, whatever you wanna fill it with, okay? Pen holder, makeup brushes, two brushes. I will use it for a two brush holder. Um, but it also comes with a mold that you fill too. And I have demolded this cause I wanted, I was just so curious, but it comes with this part too. And so you make this as well, you demold it of course. And then what you do is you're going to glue that right on top and make that a dispenser, okay? So I'm going to show you how, to, how I did the last one. I did one for my, kid, my, my bathroom and my daughter was like, give it to me, I want it. And so, yeah, I got to make, make up some more. And so I fell in love with, with this, with this one too. And I think I'm going to probably file file this because it has a lot of that um the the um the gold flake at the bottom as to why it's, it's just kind of choppy and so I'm gonna use my little portable and just hit it And that'll just knock off anything sharp without causing too much damage to the RP. And then I can just wipe. And so that's nice and smooth. It's got a little bit of sharpness right there in my corner. And so I like to rub my fingers and skin all over the piece to make sure that nobody can get hurt by touching it or rubbing it or whatever the case may be, right? Okay, this you can get at Walmart. I think it was like $19, 20 bucks. And that's just a little bit of that resin. I mean, of that silicone left on there. I'm gonna scrape that off. And then I don't have to um, sand it anymore. And that's, not too bad. Wipe that down and it's good as new. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I did. This is so pretty. Oh, this is so pretty. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this with, where you at? Okay, with my UV. They bond together. So it's resin on resin. So I'm going to take my UV and take it all the way around the rim of the cup just like that my table I need a, a 
need a craft room. I need a craft room. My husband is like, okay, we're going to work on it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to debris again a few, a little bit of these, of the edge off of here. Just so it'll make it lay a little bit flatter and flush when I set it down on there. And it's just taking off again those sharp edges without damaging the piece. Okay, so we got that off. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this down. Nice and even. All the way around, I'm gonna eyeball it. I think that's pretty good. I'm pressing to make sure it's adhering and spreading pretty good and then I can let go and then just hit it with my light let the light sit there I'm gonna hit it again y'all yeah, this set is so cute it is so pretty So cute, so cute guys. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get so quiet, but it's super cute. I'm just letting the light really cure, cure that gel, cure that um, resin. And then we're gonna be done, put the thing in it and it's gonna be all set. Y'all, I kinda wanna put some words on here, but then I don't because it's just cute and beautiful just the way it is it don't really need anything on it it's just beautiful tight on there yep okay now we got the little dispenser and it's just screw right on top like so and there you have it ain't that beautiful looks just like it came out of a department store you can set it right here you got your lotion tissue or your face cream whatever the person wants we're gonna go ahead and secure our light on the bottom. Mm -hmm. And I could have low key spray paint that, and I think I'm going to low key spray paint this gold just to kind of boom. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna spray paint this gold real quick. Put a little of gold on there. So, yeah. Stick that out. Put my little... Yeah. And then that's going to be it. I'll show y'all the finish. Well, that is kind of like the finish.
finished thing. I don't think I'm going to, I kind of want to, I think I might want to glaze it still on the inside. I kind of want to put some words in there, but then I don't. Because this is like super cute, super adorable, just like it is. And then, I mean, I could, because this also... was a little inspiration piece too so I could kind of add that in there if I want add that little jar which I don't know what you would use that for once I melt like I don't know but yeah you can add that in there just have it real cute but yeah show you the finished product okay go ahead and hit that subscribe button go ahead and hit that notification bell okay right here right here all right Keeping up with Kia P. Power Projects, guys. Look at that. That just looked expensive. Then pop the lights on. Wait till the wait, wait till I spray spray paint this. That is gorgeous. That is so pretty. That is so pretty. You tell me what y'all leave in the comments what you think this is worth. The set. What would you sell this set for? Tell me what you would sell this complete set with. This this will be a bonus. But what would you sell this complete set for? I am so, oh I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love this. I love this. I love this. I love this. Okay. Hit the subscribe button, notification bell. Make sure you let me know. What would you charge for this set? Leave it in the comments, okay? Thank you. I love you guys so much. See you on the next one.